I think there are, are a lot of Canadians like myself who most of our lives we have spent away from any real type of political arena and not bothered much with it and lived our lives in such a manner that had as little to do with the government as possible. And I, my guess is there's probably a huge amount of Canadians that are like that. Like, you know that the government's corrupt and you know that they're pack of liars, thieves, but there's nothing you can do about it. So you just kind of live your life and say, okay, well, that's, that's the way it is, but I'm going to try to keep my life separate from that. And for the most part, you know, it's worked. But now with the uh, supposed pandemic and the supposed tests and the supposed cases and the supposed deaths and the supposed everything is being questioned now that we have real time to get real data and enough people are researching to find out what is actually the truth rather than what this bullshit media gives us. And now we're in a dilemma because as they come closer to us to either force vaccinations or make it such that if you don't have a vaccination, you either can't travel or you can't live your life really, they cross the line. They crossed the line into really individually meddling with all of us. And now it's time to put an end to that. And so I would like to see this as a bit of a shift point in me in terms of really trying to share an idea with you that can assist to put an end to this BS that we're facing but it's going to take some time to learn and time for, for me to explain in such a manner that you'll understand it, but also want to utilize it. And part of that is jumping out of the norm, jumping out of the sort of societal conditioning that we've been given and entering into a new type of space, a new type of mind, a new type of thinking, which this nice little bottle ball has something to do with meaning that our energetic systems and the way our mind can self-organize if we align it under kind of like real natural law or sacred law or you know just the way things are and if you line your mind up with that uh, things change and when you do it in larger and larger groups of people uh, your ability to connect occurs at a much higher level and this is something which i think all humans want we want to be people love, we want to feel connection, we want to feel closeness with other people and to, to love them and be loved. I think deep down, most people will say, okay, they want that. They may not know how to get it, especially in today's society and especially in the direction it's, it's kind of heading. So that said, I would just like to say that uh, enough is enough. It's time for us to start to get into action and that's what's going to happen. See you tomorrow.